Hi everybody! Welcome to library. Um, so I was thinking of adventure and fun things and I came across this book by Paul McCartney and it's called Hey Grand Dude and it's about these four children. They're, they're all um, this man's grandchildren and they go visit him and they get to go on all these really magical cool adventures and it's just their little sweet story so let's read all about it hey grand dude you see postcards and it was written by paul mccartney illustrated by katherine durst Lucy and Tom and Em and Bob were spending a weekend with their granddad. Today was one of those days when nothing felt quite right. Ooh, let me hide this so I can, okay. It was gray and drizzly and everybody was grumpy and too bored to be bothered. Cheer up, chillers, said Grand Dude. And he pulled out a pile of postcards from the back pocket of his trousers. Look at these. Em picked out a postcard of a sandy beach and sparkling blue waters. Oh, I wish we can go there, Grand Dude, she said. Well, let's see what we can do. Grand Dude reached into his coat pocket and took out a shiny compass. He gave the compass a rub and waved it over the postcard. The needle started to spin round and round. See the compass needle spin? Let the magic fun begin. Then a flash of magic. Zing! Bang, sizzle, everything changed. The children were standing on a golden beach with little waves tickling their toes. The water felt beautifully cool. We're on the beach from the postcard, Bob laughed as he splashed in the sea. But the magic compass hadn't finished yet. Huge flying fish leapt from the sea. Hey, Grand Dude, they called. It's a school of flying fish, said Grand Dude. Come on, chillers, let's go for a ride. A school, whispered Lucy. I hope we don't have to do any homework. They skimmed across shimmering blue waves on the back of the flying fish before coming to rest again on the hot sand. They built sand castles and then lay beneath a coconut tree eating ice cream. The memory of their gray grumpy day was completely washed away and they were perfectly happy until, ouch, cried Bob. A little crab scuttled across the beach. That crab pinched my toe. Oh no, suddenly lots of little crabs were scurrying out of the sea, heading straight toward Grand Dude and the children. Hey, Grand Dude, said Em, can we go somewhere a little less pinchy? Yes, I think we'd better hop to it, said Grand Dude. He quickly waved the magic compass over another postcard. This one had a picture of a cowboy. See the campus needle spin, the compass needle spin. Let the magic fun begin. The magic flashed and sparkled and once again, zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. Grand dude and the children found themselves in a desert valley with spiky green cactuses. A cowboy galloped toward them on a beautiful spotted horse. Hey, grand dude, called the cowboy waving his hat in the air. Wow, what a handsome Appaloosa, said Grand Dude, admiring the horse. Appaloosa, asked Em. No, that's the kind of horse it is. It has nothing to do with me, said Lucy. Grand Dude gave a whistle and five more horses came galloping up. He helped each of the children onto a horse and they raced together through the valley. Wee! cried Bob. Faster, yelled Lucy. But what was that cloud of dust on the horizon? Oh no, a herd of wild buffalo was rushing straight toward them. The canyon echoed and the sound of a hundred, with the sound of a hundred hooves. Before they could ride to safety, Tom's horse reared and he tumbled to the ground. Hold on, Tom, shouted Grand Dude, snatching a rope from the cowboy's saddle. With a twirl, he lassoed Tom and hauled him onto his horse. Ride, chillers, cried Grand Dude, as fast as you can. They cleared the stampede just in time. Hey, Grand Dude, panted Tom. 
Perhaps we should go somewhere a little less stampy? Yes, good idea, said Grand Dude. And I think I need a cool down to cool down. Once again, he whipped out his magic compass and waved it over a postcard. See the compass needle spin. Let the magic fun begin. Before the children could see the picture, magic sparkled and flashed and in the blink of an eye, zing, bang, sizzle, everything changed. They found themselves high on a hill in the afternoon. The children laughed as they rolled in sweet smelling flowers that seemed to stretch forever. Grand Dude pulled out his trusty guitar and began strumming a song. Hey, Grand Dude, mooed some friendly cows, their bells tinkling along to the tune. Grand Dude drew a small telescope from his pocket and they took turns looking at the snow-capped peaks. But soon they heard a rumbling sound. <gasps> oh no, hey, Grand Dude, look! yelled Lucy as she peered through the telescope. A huge wall of snow was sliding down from the mountains above. Avalanche! Quick chillers, cried Grand Dude, jump! Just before the wave of snow reached them, Grand Dude and the children leapt onto one of the cows. Up cow, up, Grand Dude cried. Magic swirled from the compass, lifting them all higher and higher off the ground sailing them safely through the sky with the sea of snow rushing beneath them. Swiss cows are exceptionally good flyers, said Grand Dude. Now riding a, a flying cow is a lot of fun, but it had been a very long day. Hey, Grand Dude, said Lucy with a yawn. Maybe we could go somewhere a little more sleepy, said Grand Dude with a chuckle. That sounds like a very good idea. This time, instead of a postcard, Grand Dude pulled a photograph of his own house from his pocket. Magic compass, one more spin. It's time for bedtime to begin. He waved his compass over it, making the magic sparkle and spin. And just like that, zing, bang, sizzle. They were back in Grand Dude's living room. And the compass hadn't finished yet. With a final flash of magic, the children were changed and ready for bed. Their teeth were brushed, their faces were washed, and they were all tucked up tight. And in five minutes flat, Tom and Bob and Lucy and Em were asleep. Dreaming of their next adventures. See the compass needle spin. Let the magic fun begin. Good night, Grandad. Mm. So if there really were a magic compass, where would you want to go? You could draw a picture of this magical place where you would want to go, or maybe draw a picture of the things you would want to see. Um, like I would love to see a unicorn. Wouldn't that be awesome? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope that you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Happy reading.